R really? It really took you this long to finally swipe up to me? Are you kidding me? What the fuck were you even watching up there? Like, people watch that shit. You really watch that? Do me a favor. Let me know what's below me. Okay, so since I'm not dating anybody right now... Oh, are you I'll... ticking already? <laughs> are we ticking now? Why can't you just leave me alone? Are we ticking? What's up, ticks? <laughs> Is that what you say? Are you guys called tickers or? Babe, can you take out the trash? Babe, I haven't posted all day. Just hang on. I need you to take out the trash. Babe, just just give me just like 10, 20 minutes. Christopher? Hey, to the douchebag teenager that just flipped me off when I was honking and trying to wave you down. Your cell phone's on top of your cart, dickhead. Screwed up and ate a weed brownie today. Then I cooked a pizza at 15 degrees for 400 minutes. So I've been hearing all these little boys say you can't be a snack if you've got stretch marks. Uh, first of all, Dylan, I'm not a snack. I'm the fucking entree. And second, any real man knows that the meat's not ready unless it's got grill marks. So I am extremely lonely, like super lonely, but I also want to be left way the fuck alone. Like, please show me love and affection, but do it from way the fuck over there and don't crowd me. But also, please crowd me, but don't crowd me too much. It's, it's complicated. Know that you are good enough Please don't give up when things get tough I know, I know, I know, I know Be the reason that someone smiles today Or drinks Or masturbates Whatever works So you know the people in the U.S. that are talking about banning TikTok And wanting to ban TikTok because it spies on you and seals your information Listen I talk about a product to a friend in real life and all of a sudden I'm seeing ads for it on Facebook and Instagram. TikTok shows me ads for Bumble. I'm 41. TikTok don't know shit about me. So I just received my Olympic condom and I think I'm going to wear gold this time. Try silver to see if you can come second for a fucking change. I love when people message me on Instagram telling me that I'm a disgusting human being because I have cows and I choose to eat meat and then proceed to think that I'm going to care about their opinion. Like, whoo, honey, I already filed your opinion under G for garbage. Bold move, Sushi Place, giving me two chopsticks and assuming that two people will be eating all of this sushi. <laughs> Fools, there was only one. Okay guys, so I just came out of Boba Box in Monrovia just getting my tea and look at what I find here. So this genius human being here decided that just because he has a supercar, he can park however he wants. Not only is he in the red zone, he's also parked diagonal in the middle of the road. You guys know what that warrants. My famous business cards. There you go. Jesus. By the way, guys, this bowl place is sick. You should totally check it out. Oh! Hey, no. Mo and Alex! I have a dirty joke for y'all. Oh, wow. How do you make your girlfriend scream during sex? Give her a good dick. Uh, no, you call her and tell her about it. Okay, I'm <laughs> She fucking killed me! Promise, I understand the rules. <laughs> yeah. you, you feel those big girl? I should have done this for you. We got two toilets, so you're fine. <laughs> Fuck. I didn't think. Now wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Fuck. You better fucking chug. You better chug, Ray. You better, you better chug, Ray. I told you I better go. Where's my throat? 
I got a drill. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Don't smell. You better hurry, right? That's so funny. No, baby. So I'm in Rant, so I live on a really nice street, and my neighbors are awesome, except for the ones that just moved in. Their kids are super loud, super destructive. Their dog comes over and fucks with my dog. Dixie, Dixie, what do you do? Stop chewing them. Anyway, she comes over after me getting home from responding to an emergency call at 12.30 in the morning and tells me that she doesn't understand why I have to leave my house at that hour and wake her whole family up and thinks it's disrespectful. Okay, well, Karen... First of all, great big huge fire department sticker. I would have left with green flashing lights. And if that doesn't top it all off, I don't know. There's also fire plates. Well, if I'm so disrespectful, I figure, fuck it. 4.45 in the morning. Fuck you, Karen. So y'all remember that video where I let a kid lay his head down and go to sleep and gave him 100 on his test the day his grandfather passed away? Well, this is a comment that just popped up on the video and I've seen several other comments like it. And he's right. On a normal day, I don't think any student should ever get a free 100. They should work for it. They should earn their grade. I don't think any teacher should just give free 100s. But this wasn't a normal day. This was the day after his grandfather passed away and he was still at school. Any adult in the world that has the opportunity the day after their parent or their grandparent passes away, they're going to take a vacation day. At school, we don't have vacation days. So, you know, letting him have a pass that day was probably the nicest thing anybody did for him. So I'm totally against participation trophies and I'm not the guy who gives out free grades for anything. But on a day like that, on the possible worst day of his life, you better believe I gave him some grace. Yeah.